Bonsoir, Ian here. Very happy to talk to you about one of my favorite French wine regions, the Jura. The Jura right now is a very sexy, hot, up-and-coming wine area, and it should be because the wines are some of the most distinctive in the world. The Jura is located in northeastern France. It's between Burgundy and Switzerland. In fact, if you drive about an hour east from Beaune, you go straight into the Jura, an area which is very green, very lush, rolling hills, very pretty. It's a very cold area. It has a continental climate, which means very long, cold winters, short, hot summers. Uh, frost is a real problem. You will see that the grapes are trained high from the ground. And this also means that there's specific grape varieties that live there because not every grape variety can stay in such a coolish environment. The two typical grapes of Burgundy, Pinot Noir and Chardonnay, are clearly also going to be found in the Jura. Chardonnay, when it's bad in the Jura, is thin and lean and really not interesting, but when it's good, it's great, it's very complex, uh, very nutty, and has a high acidity because of those limestone soils. Pinot Noir has never been a big grape in Jura, it, ju it was just too cold and therefore the wines were too pink and too thin. Now, with climate change, things are changing, and Jura Pinot Noir is becoming very interesting. But the grapes that are really interesting to Jura are the typical Jura grapes. One is Sauvignon. Sauvignon is a white grape that is closely related to Gewurz Traminer. In fact, Sauvignon is the same thing as Traminer, which then mutated into a pink variant called Gewurz Traminer. Sauvignon is really a very difficult grape to grow. I think a lot of producers would do away with it if they could, but because it gives such amazing wines, everybody still grows it. Sauvignon is at the base of the two most famous wines of the Jura, Vin Jaune and Chateau Chalon. The other two grapes are red, the Poulsard, which is a very funny red grape because it has virtually no color and it's very thin skin, no tannin, so the wines have little or no color. That is where the Pinot Noir came in handy, because they would blend a little in to give color. Uh, Trousseau gives a bigger body, it's still a light colored red wine, but much bigger bodied, fuller, earthy, peppery, and with notes of strawberry, and can become very complex with age. The most famous wine of the Jura is the Vin Jaune. This is a sherry fino like wine when young. When it gets older, it becomes a lot more complex and different, and it's made through an oxidative process and the formation of a yeasty film, floor and sherry, called instead of Wal in the Jura. The wine is simply left in small uh, 228 liter barrels until it evaporates and it stays there for six years and three months, usually at least. A thin veil of yeast, the Wal forms, protecting the wine or allowing, shall we say, a controlled oxygenation over time, giving the very famous Vin Jaune. Other wine styles in the Jura include the very rare Vin de Pai, made from air-dried grapes, that's a very sweet wine, and the Mac Vin de Jura has nothing to do with fast food. This is where barely fermented must is added to a high-quality mark, which is an eau de vie, and you have a really remarkable walnut and raisin spirit formed. Denominations of the Jura are four. They are Côte de Jura, they are Arbois, they are L'Etoile, and Chateau Chalon, and each is different. The Côte de Jura is a catch-all area. It includes the very far north of the Jura, the very far south. It's really where most of Chardonnay is planted in the Jura. Uh, simpler wines, much more interesting already, are Bois. About 50%, even more, of the Arbois wines are red, made mainly with a Poulsard grape. Very interesting, lovely wines. When the grapes come from the town of Pupillin, Pupillin, which is very close to Arbois, which is one of France's prettiest towns, then the wine can be called Arbois Pupillin. Um, L'Etoile is a super interesting appellation. It's a white wine appellation only, and this is where the Jura's best Chardonnays come from. L'Etoile takes its name from fossilized starfish in the soil. In fact, L'Etoile in French means a star. These are fresher, cooler Chardonnays than those of, of other areas of the Jura. Think of this as the Chablis of the Jura. Last but not least, you have Chateau Chalon, one of the greatest wines in the world. It can only be made as a vin jaune, in other words, no fresh dry wines here. It is mostly Sauvignon, it's very nutty, spicy, peaty, a lot of ginger in the wine, it ages remarkably well, full-bodied. This is truly one of the great, great wines of the world, and I totally recommend you visit Chateau Chalon, one of the prettiest villages in France, Arbois, also a very pretty town, and the really the Jura is enjoying a huge boom right now, and rightfully so, because these are some of the world's most unique wines. I heartily endorse them.